Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Well, there better not be any mice in this place. Merry Christmas Eve, my friends. It's me, Peter, and welcome to day 24 of my 25 Days of Christmas reviews. Yeah, I know, I was going to prepare this video a little bit earlier, but I'm so excited I can't rest because Santa's coming tonight. And after seeing today's movie, I'm even more excited about good old Saint Nick coming to visit. Sometimes referred to as a modern Christmas classic, the movie I'm taking a look at today is none other than Arthur Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, and Santa Claus is traveling around the world along with his elves to help deliver Christmas presents for all the good little boys and girls. The process is made much easier by his son Steve, who has completely upgraded all the technology and made delivering presents about as modern as it can be, featuring cell phones, iPads, and everything else you can think of. But then something goes horribly wrong when it's discovered that one Christmas gift was not delivered. Steve is wont to forget about it, as is his father, who simply goes to bed without the present being delivered. But Santa's other son, Arthur, won't stand for it, saying it's the spirit of Christmas to have Santa deliver a present. So along with his grandfather, a retired Santa himself, Arthur gets into a sleigh and prepares to deliver the present himself. But they have to hurry, because if they don't get there by sunrise, the little girl will wake up presentless. Now, oftentimes, saying a movie is a classic is subjective. After all, everyone says Miracle on 34th Street is a classic, and I, quite honestly, didn't enjoy it all that much. But in the case of Arthur Christmas, I agree 100% that this is a brand new Christmas classic. The plot is something we've never seen before, which is what happens when a gift doesn't get delivered on Christmas, and whose responsibility is it to get it back to the child? The politics of Santa is also amusing as well, as apparently every Santa comes from the same family. Yeah. And there's also a power struggle between the two sons to determine who will be the next Santa. Will it be Steve, who's the heir apparent, or will it be Arthur, who's kind of the clumsy one? People don't really look up to him very well, but he's got a big heart. I thoroughly loved this movie. The characters were very entertaining, most of them were likable, and even the ones that were kind of unlikable were entertaining in their own right. One character who consistently cracked me up throughout the movie is this little elf who tags along with Arthur and his grandfather. She is obsessed with wrapping Christmas gifts as she is in charge of gift wrapping operations. You'd think that would get old, but quite honestly it doesn't. I think it's absolutely hilarious. And honestly, the ending of this movie, which I will not spoil for you guys, is really truly heartwarming. I actually found myself smiling at the end of this movie, which is something I can't say about a lot of the movies that I've reviewed. The animation in this movie is also fantastic. It's done by Ardman, which is the same studio that did the Wallace and Gromit movie, as well as all the shorts. And even though it's computer generated, I'm fairly certain there was stop motion in a couple scenes. It certainly looked like it was stop motion to me, at least. There's several people that consider Arthur Christmas a new Christmas classic, and I'm going to have to agree with all of those people. Out of five Santa Clauses, I give Arthur Christmas a five out of five. Thanks for watching my latest Christmas review, my friends. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my Christmas reviews, simply click that subscribe button down below. Tune in tomorrow, Christmas Day, when I wrap up my 25 days of Christmas reviews. Until then, this is Peter saying see you later.